Uh, ellipsis section 10.1, standard equation for ellipse with uh, center hk, ra x radius a, y radius b, x minus h quantity squared over a squared plus y minus k quantity squared over b squared equals 1. Uh, so here's an example. Uh, 4x squared plus 9y squared minus 8x minus 72 y is equal to negative 112. Um, it looks like it's going to be an ellipse because uh, x squared and y squared terms are both positive. Um, and we want to match it um, uh, to this form up here so we can identify the features and sketch the graph. So um, first of all, we want to put x with x and y with y. y. So we want to rearrange the terms here uh, so the x terms are together and the y terms are together. So we'll have 4x squared minus 8x plus 9y squared minus 72y equals negative 112. Uh, next, we want to factor out the leading coefficients of the x terms. Um, so we'll factor out 4 from the uh, x terms. I'll leave it as x squared minus 2x. Uh, do the same for the y terms. Uh, leading uh, uh, the leading coefficient for, for the y terms would be uh, a 9. I'll factor that out. That leaves us y squared minus 8y. And copy the equals negative 112. And then the next thing we want to do is um, um, make this into something squared. Because our formula have, we have, for the x terms we have something squared. And for the y terms we have something squared. Uh, and that's our goal. And so we want to add numbers inside parentheses here in order to make these into perfect squares. Uh, so the procedure is uh, we want to take half of the um, coefficient of x. So um, so half of um, so uh, half the coefficient of x. So half of two is one in squared. One squared is one. And take, do the same for the y. Half the coefficient of uh, y, half of 8 is 4, 4 squared is 16. So we want to add, inside parentheses, uh, we want to add uh, those numbers in order to make those into perfect squares. So um, inside parentheses with x, we'll, we're going to add a 1. That'll give us x squared minus 2x plus 1 inside parentheses. And here we add a 16 to the y terms. It's y squared minus 8y plus 16. And then... Um, because we're adding numbers to the left side, in order to keep the equation equivalent to the original equation, we have to also add the same numbers to the right side, the equal sign. So this one that we're adding to the axis is inside parentheses with a 4 on the outside. So really, we're adding 4 times 1. We add 4 times 1 here. The 16 that we're adding to the y terms is inside parentheses with a 9 on the outside. So really, we're adding 9 times 16. And now we can factor, um, factor this. Um, x times x will give us x squared. We need two numbers to multiply to 1 and add up to negative 2. The numbers that work are negative 1 and negative 1. Um, and you can check with the FOIL method. x times x is x squared. Outer product is negative 1x. Inner product is negative 1x. Combine those, you get negative 2x. Last times last, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Uh, do the same for the y terms. Uh, y times y is y squared. And then we need two numbers to multiply to uh, 16, add up to negative 8. And what works is negative 4 and negative 4. And again, you can check with the FOIL method. Uh, we can; these are all numbers here. We do, just do the computations. These come out to be 36. Um, uh, now we can use uh, write these in exponent form uh, uh, to make this more compact. Uh, x, the quantity x minus one times x minus one is x minus one quantity squared. Likewise, uh, y minus four times y minus four is y minus four quantity squared uh, equals 36. And now it's starting to look like the form that we want. Um, but the format has an equals 1 where we have an equals 36. To get an equals 1 there, we want to divide each term by 36. Um, so we divide each of these uh, three terms by 36. Um, and um, then we can reduce these. 4 into 36 goes 9. 9 into 36 goes 4. Uh, 36 divided by 36 is 1. Um, so that gives us... Um, uh, almost the form that we're looking for. Uh, we have uh, x minus 1 quantity squared over 9 plus y minus 4 quantity squared over 4 equals 1. And um, uh, you could probably stop there. That's close enough to the form that we can identify the features. If you want to exactly match the form, we could take it a step further. Um, instead of a number on the bottom, we have a number squared on the bottom in the form that we want. Uh, so uh, 3 squared is 9. So we could place 9 by 3 squared. 2 squared is 4, replace 4 by 2 squared, and now it exactly matches the form. We can identify the features. 
Uh, H is the number inside parentheses with X, which is 1. Uh, K is the number inside parentheses with Y, which is 4. Uh, A is the number underneath the X, which is 3. B is the number underneath the Y, which is 2. Uh, so the, the center of the, this uh, ellipse is going to be um, H comma K, which is 1 comma 4. And um, from the center, we want to go uh, uh, A equal 3 uh, to the left and A equal 3 to the right to get the vertices, negative 2 comma 4 and 4 comma 4. And from the center, we'll go B equal 2 um, up and B equal 2 down to get uh, the co-vertices 1 comma 2 and 1 comma 6. And then we can draw the ellipse by uh, uh, connecting the, uh, the dots. So, um, so here's our ellipse. Um, again, the, the vertices, here's the center. It's um, 1 comma 4, 1 to the right up 4. And then we have the two uh, uh, vertices. Uh, uh, we go um, 3 to the right and 3 to the left. So if we go 3 to the right, we have uh, a vertex here. And 3 to the left, we have another vertex. And we also go from the center, we go um, uh, up two and down two to get the, the code vertices and uh, connect the dots um, and that's our ellipse. Uh, there's some other features that um, um, in addition to these um, and, uh, I mean this is as much as we need to do to sketch the graph. The major axis is the um, if you connect the two uh, vertices that's called the major axis. Um, the uh, If you connect the two um, code vertices that's called the minor axis and um, uh, there's special points called the focus that are important in some applications. And there's a formula for that, um, which I'll go into. Um, the, um, to compute the foci, fo uh, locate the fo uh, foci, there's two of them, the plural focus is foci. Uh, you want to first compute C is equal to the square root of the absolute value of A squared minus B squared. Uh, so this will be square root of the absolute value of 3 squared minus 2 squared. Uh, it's equal to the square root of the absolute value of 9 minus 4. Square root of the absolute value of 5, which is square root of 5. And we know that square root of 5 is a little bit more than 2 because square root of 4 is 2. And through trial and error, we estimate C to be approximately 2.2. So the foci will be on the major axis, approximately 2.2 units from the center. And so uh, again, if we look at it on the graph here. Uh, we have two foci here. There's one here and one there, and that's important for some applications. And that concludes this presentation.